St. Louis, Missouri is the most dangerous place in the United States. St. Louis County Police say they have arrested two suspects in connection with Monday's triple shooting. Well, St. Louis Police want your help identifying these suspects wanted in connection with Sunday's mass shooting in downtown St. Louis. A neighborhood intersection sprayed with about 50 bullets from a rifle. Yeah, and one man is dead and at least three others are wounded after a drive by shooting in North St. Louis. Ranking at the top for the most dangerous cities in the U.S. But in 2023, St. Louis, Missouri dropped 21% in murders, with having a total of 159 murders in 2023. And in 2020, they had a total of 263 murders. And so far in 2024, there's been a total of 48 murders. Plus, this is home to the famous rapper Sexy Red. And St. Louis, Missouri only has a population of about 286,000. And what is fueling most of these murders is the gangs in St. Louis. Plus, it's the youth too. In a city where there is no background check or minimum age requirement to purchase a firearm. And all you need is parent consent to buy one. But you only need to be at least 19 years of age to carry a gun concealed. Which as you can see St. Louis has some of the most lenient gun laws in the US. And at the moment St. Louis is experiencing a demographic winner. Where more people are dying than being born. One of the first gangs in St. Louis was the Bottoms Gang which was an American street gang during the early 20th century. Their main criminal activities included voter intimidation, armed robbery, assault, illegal lottery, and murder. And these gangs were primarily Irish Americans. They beefed heavy with the larger Eggins Rats gang and became notorious for going out their way to attack members of the St. Louis Police Department. But the gangs in the current era is a lot more reckless and a lot more murders are happening all around the city. Remember that some of this information might not be true and I only could find limited details on the gangs in St. Louis. So if you know any more details or I get something wrong, make sure you comment down below. First we're going to start in the St. Louis downtown area. Cass Avenue was once home to several housing projects that were built in the 1940s and 1950s and replaced the neighborhood of Mac Creek Valley. And by the 1970s and 80s, Cass Avenue was the most notorious section of the city, from drug kingpins claiming turf to projects and neighborhood wars, with this first hood located on 20th and John. And they go by North City's dub, John Murderville. And these guys are mostly rolling 60s. And they beef with Dub DST as black families made their way in the College Hill neighborhood during the late 1950s and 1960s. It would later become known as Dub for 20th Street. And at one time, everybody in Dub was together and once known as Water Tower Mafia. But for years, the conflict between Dub DSD and Dub JMV have been one of the deadliest wars in St. Louis. This next dangerous gang slash area are located on 41 Pleasant and they go by PST slash Peck. These guys are known to be cool with Dub and JMV though. Then there's a set called CNC and they're located around College and Carter. And these guys are mostly 62 East Coast Crips. But today, most of the hood is vacant. And at one point, Murray Ave became the main block for CNC. And then there's a set called 50G slash G Street, which they are located on the north side area of Mark Twain neighborhood from Union to Kings Highway. But for turning rolling 60 Crips back in the day, 50 G's had GD's within the hood before Bloods and Crips became prominent in the 80s and 90s. The hood of Mark Twain was originally around 5,000 in Jarladane, but also expanded from Queens Ave to Clankston Ave. But in the month of October of 2023, more than two dozen was arrested in a roundup of members and associates of the Black Mafia family. The arrest was made by the U.S. Marshals, federal agents, and local police follow a series of grand jury indictments. 34 people was charged in connection with the investigation. The trial says BGF holds itself as a drug trafficking and money laundering organization. Then there's 48 slash 49 Farland. They are located in the Penrose area. And the Penrose area is a mostly working class area with only two main hood sections on 4800 California and Margaret. Penrose, like other neighborhoods, was an all white community until black families moved in during the 
60s. Then there's a set slash area named the Stone. These guys are rolling 60s too and located on 1300 Gimlin Street. Now let's go to the west side of St. Louis hoods, which the first hood from the west side we'll be going over is called the Dip. These guys are 92 IFGBs, which stands for Anglewood Family Gangsta Bloods, located on the 5500 block of Labadee and also 5500 Street, Lewis Ave and Terry Ave. After 55 Ashland and Horseshoe was demolished, Labadee became the main block for the area. 55 Dipset is one of the largest and most notorious sets off Goodfellow and on the west side. And then there's 64 Wellston, which these guys are 92 Englewood family gangster bloods too. Their main blocks is Lennox Ave and Wellsmar Place. Wellston has been around since the late 1800s, once known as the famous shopping district, but changed by the 1960s and 70s, long before they were even black gangs and they were just Italian white gangs. Who also also has affiliation with the 92 Englewood family is the AMG set from Arlington, which AMG standing for Arlington Mob Gangsters, and they are located around 1600 of Arlington. These guys are well known for hustlers and one of the oldest West Side hoods. Then there's a set called 57 Kates, which are mostly rolling 60 Crips, but also have a number of other affiliations. Located on 5700 and Kates, these guys are known for being cool and tied with BOD. They also support supposedly put on a few other west side hoods. Also on the west side is a set called the Scan. This set is mixed with rolling 60s and blood slash pyrus, but their own color for their hood has been green. And a rapper known to come out this area is a rapper named LA Force, which this hood is located on the 5100 blocks of Enright, Kingston, and Cates. The Scan's reputation dates back decades, especially during the 1990s and 2000s, and if not before, which the name Scan stands for scandalous, and this area was once a white community. And then there's the West Side Horseshoe, located on the 5500 block of Ashland, between Clara and Goodfellow, and they're known for using the Indianapolis Coast logo to represent their hood. The Horseshoe set was one of St. Louis' original gangs, before Bloods and Crips, but also one of the first Blood and LA gang affiliated hoods in St. Louis. Both the original Horseshoe and 5500 Ashland are completely demolished and most of them are in the area of 5500 in Lamberty. And then there's a West Side set called 58 PSG, standing for 5800 Pershing Street Gangsters, and they are located in the near Forest Park area. Pershing has been known to hold their own against other West Side hoods, despite how the hoods on the West Side used to view and feel about 58 Pershing. And then there's the Ville, which is the largest 62 East Coast Crip hood in St. Louis, located on the 4200 of the Ville. Originally was 4200 Ville for the 4200s until the 4400 section became more active. Remember, if y'all are from St. Louis or have any other information to add, make sure you comment it down below because some of this information might not be accurate. But that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.